often when you make up your mind to stay with the breath, one of the first things you notice is that it won't stay with the breath. It stays for a little bit and then wanders off someplace else. When you see this happening, you just bring it back. It happens again, you bring it back again. We're training the mind in new habits, and old habits are often hard to break. But if you're persistent, if you stick with it, and remember your motivation, the mind has caused a lot of suffering for you in the past. It's time to train it in new ways. And whether it takes a long time or a short time doesn't really matter. Remember the Buddha said if you were to be given an agreement that you'd be stuck with a hundred spears in the morning, a hundred spears at noon, a hundred spears in the evening, three hundred spears every day for a hundred years, but you'd be guaranteed awakening at the end of the hundred years. He said it would be a good bargain to take. The goal is that worthwhile. He said, and you would even consider that you had attained it with pain. The attainment itself would blot out any sense of pain that you'd felt. So remember, we're here with a good purpose. And even though it may take time, and the mind has lots of tricks. You're not training one person in there. There are lots of people in there. That's what it seems like. And that's a good image to hold in mind. You've got a whole committee. Sometimes you convince a few members of the committee to stick with the breath, and the others are hiding and wait for when the good members are careless or when they lapse in their mindfulness. Then the other members take over, and you wonder, when is your mind ever going to behave? Well, remember, it's several minds, many minds all at once, and so it's going to require lots of different techniques, lots of different approaches. But the basic one we're working on here with the breath, that's the foundation for everything else. So you want to stick with that. And using that and your ingenuity, you'll find that you can get everybody trained. That's the good news that the Buddha gives us. So always keep that in mind.